Daytona, Florida, and Indianapolis, Indiana. Auto Racing's meccas for the fastest in stock car and Formula One auto racing, respectively. But if you seek for the swiftest on water and in air, all directions point northwest to Seattle and Washington State for the annual Seafair Festival, where the ultimate speed demons in planes and hydroplanes compete for Gold Cup glory and honors. VOA's Natasha Moskovaya reports from Lake Washington. It's another sound of summer in Seattle when the U.S. Navy Blue Angels arrive in the city for the culmination of the annual Seafair Festival. It takes 100% complete concentration to fly 18 inches apart uh, for the entire time, so 45 minutes of pure concentration. The F-A-18 Super Hornet Jet Fighters team, including the Blue Angels' first female pilot, Lieutenant Amanda Lee, showcased the skills and teamwork of the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps. And there is a bigger mission. What we're hoping for is to basically make everyone want to be a best version of themselves, so continue to work hard and do great things. Seattle Seafair Weekend is several days of breathtaking air and sea performances, all happening in a city environment that requires complex safety coordination. We have a lot of partners who, from the local police, fire department, FBI, the folks at the U.S. Navy have really strict regulations on how the Blue Angels can fly. And then there are the hydroplane races on Lake Washington, where the largest, fastest race boats in the world compete. In cars, it's asphalt and it's pretty much, you know, the course is a course. With us, it's water. It's a two-mile race course, a rough two-mile race course. Washington State native Peabody races a hydroplane named the U-9 Beacon Plummy due to its company sponsor. You wouldn't turn your truck at 50 miles an hour in, and I'm taking a boat 196 miles an hour, taking a hard left and coming out and, and doing it over and over and over and over again. It's a thrill that you can't explain until somebody actually gets into it and experiences it. Brent Hall, who grew up on the lake watching the races, came one lap short of qualifying and becoming the first black driver to compete with an unlimited hydroplane. It's my rookie season this year and I'm really excited to race and have fun, but we broke the gearbox, so this year we're going to take a little pause, but next year we'll be right back at it. For this family, the love of hydroplane racing goes back decades. We used to know all the old you know, drivers from, from the 70s and 80s and the old plastic hydroplanes that we see displayed out here. We remember the, old, we remember the, uh, the louder noises, the bigger engines. It's just nice to get together and feel really happy. Everyone's in good mood. So that's, yeah, that's what Seafair is all about. For some, though, it's also about winning. It means the world. It just really lost for words. You know, it's not just the race boats, but it's the people that are involved in it that makes this sport special. And uh, myself as a driver, just very thankful to be a part of it. Gold Cup winner J. Michael Kelly says he hopes hydroplanes racing sticks around forever. He certainly plans to be back at Seafair at Lake Washington next summer. Natasha Mosgovay, VOA News, Seattle.